Very scary. It's very scary because my wife used to work by herself here. We have sad news to report tonight out of the community of Eads. A man is dead. Authorities report he died from a gunshot. Fox 13's Lakia Scott joining us live from where that shooting happened. Lakia, what did you find out about this investigation? Yeah, Daniel, the Shelby County Sheriff's Department came here about an armed disturbance call. Now, this is Highway 64 in Eads. Deputies say they found a man dead in front of that property. The person who rents this location told me this caught him by surprise. I was shocked. I was shocked. Shelby County patrol vehicles, yellow crime scene tape, surround this business on Highway 64 in Eads Sunday afternoon. The emergency? The Shelby County Sheriff's Department says an armed disturbance call. A man found dead. The only thing they would tell me at the time is there was a, a dead body on the porch that I couldn't go up to the door. David Smith says he rents this property for business purposes and uses it for storage space for his equipment. He says he got an unexpected phone call about this location he uses for his construction business. I had a friend that passed by and called me and told me that something was going on here, so I drove down here. Has anything like this ever happened before? Anything this bizarre? No. Not ever. Deputies got to the scene in the 12,000 block of Highway 64 just after 1230 Sunday afternoon. Shelby County officials report finding a man in front of the business shot to death and a vehicle in a wooded area next to the property. They towed the car away before I got here, but it evidently left the roadway. Um, you can see the tracks that go up to the fence where it went through the fence. And once it hit the fence, what happened after that? The driver, you said the driver. Evidently, the driver ran over to the front porch. Now, I'm still working to confirm details with authorities. Now, family members, they did show up to this scene. This was obviously an emotional moment for them. They did confirm with me that the victim was 27 years old. I also reached out to the Shelby County Sheriff's Department, who told me that its detectives are working to complete this investigation. Daniel. Fox 13's Lakia Scott out of Eads tonight. Lakia, thanks. Fox 13's